After several days in Lake Como, we went to Milan for a day. And in Milan, we tried out food, visit cool places like the Dormo, and also interact with strangers. I'll be moving to Japan for a year, but more of that at the end of the video. Right now, we're actually on our way to something called Hello Chicken. And it looks like the closest thing to fried chicken in the UK. And my favorite food to always have when outside is fried chicken. It's also delicious. The skin, the chicken, the protein. The reason why I look so good is because of chicken. So we have just come to Catcut, not hello chicken for some weird reason. And the chicken looks superb. Look at that chicken. Oh, me. So let's try it out. It was seven euros. It smells great, looks great. Cannot wait to try it. Isn't that good? This is the big boy. Magnificent. Something I really like doing is mixing the skin of the chicken with the chips, not using sauce. It's really tasty. Mm. I just came to the flower spots. I got zucchini, zucchini, peppers, Ghost peppers, tomatoes, uh, a lot of things for like 16 euros. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, as you can see, it looks really, really pretty. It's sunny today, which is very, very rare. Some interesting interaction with the lady though uh, that was selling the seeds. I was waiting in line, right? But the, the lady wasn't calling me to come. She was looking at me standing there in line. And when some Italian person came to stand also in line, she called them first. Uh, fortunately, the Italians that were called was like, he's obviously waiting in line first, you know, and then I went. But it's bizarre. Some interactions in Italy have been really weird. Very, very weird. I don't, I don't know what's up with these people, but yeah. Either way, I got the veggies for my mom. I'm happy. Very, very happy. And the car's trying to wrap me over. Oh, shit. So it turns out that we're going to do a little bit of a detour because the tram that we got on stopped at a strange spot when it was not meant to but realistically it was my fault for not stopping at the correct place but obviously it's the tram's fault because obviously I'm never wrong. We're on our way to the Little Mermaid in Milan. It is a park and it's called Sempione or something. We're also going to see famous castles. <laughs> So behind me is Foresco Castle. This is the Little Mermaid in Milan. Very underwhelming, just like in Copenhagen. And I think the more pretty thing is the De Duck Lake. Yes, magnificent. This, what the hell is that? Something that I really like about parks is when there's water and there's barely any water here, so that's why it's meh. If I had water, it would be great, but it doesn't. No water equals shit. More water equals better. So shit park.
I used to have three of these and then I would be full for about six hours. And oh boy, how times have changed. With that, the chronicles of Italy are at a close. It might have been a three month gap between Lake Como and Milan, but it was all planned. And with that lads, thank you for the support.